Hi and welcome! If you want to remote control the pneumatics of your creation, you can use the solution powered by a single servo. But for every pneumatic switch you will need one servo. The more switches you will use, the more servos you'll need. And as the servo is relatively expensive, it will bite a huge hole in your wallet. This was the reason to me to find a better solution. I created a gearbox for pneumatic switches. The gearbox is modular. Each module consists of one servo and two pneumatic switches. You can shift between the two switches remotely. Therefore, I use a M motor and a small linear actuator. For my next mock, I need eight pneumatic channels. So I combined four modules. The whole construction is only 13 studs wide and 9 studs high. Can appear when a number of simple entities operate in an environment. A single module is 3 studs wide plus 1 stud for the shifter. Over disparate size scales. Let's have a look in detail on the single module. The processes from which immersion properties result may occur in either the observed or observed. Next to the switches and the servo, you'll need four double canonical wheels with 20 T's. One smaller double canonical wheel with 12 T's on a cross axle shifts between the two switches. When connecting the servo to the module, you have to check the position of the axle. Let's see how it works. Why emergent behaviors occur include intricate causal relations across different scales and feedback, known as interconnectivity. The emergent property itself may be either very predictable or unpredictable and unprecedented and represent a new level of the system's evolution. Complex behavior or properties are not a property. Very important is that the switches are toggling very smoothly between the positions. If your switches are too stiff and the gearbox can't work reliable, try the pneumatic switch torturer. For the RC pneumatic switch gearbox, I took only the smoothest going switches. Now it's time to show you the complete gearbox working. So I connect it to three infrared receivers. s bricks or similar solutions will work too. Be careful to choose different channels for each receiver. Fish are also good examples. With channels 1 and 2 you'll toggle the switches. With the third channel you shift between the two groups of switches. You can toggle every switch individually or you toggle a group of switches. And finally, I show you the gearbox with connected pneumatic cylinders.
that's all. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel to get my latest videos. Do you like this gearbox or you still have questions? Feel free to ask and comment.